Diamond Painting Addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I am here today to show you some goodies that I received from Easy Craft Art. So a huge thank you to them for sending the items to me. And I'm just going to dive right in. I have one canvas and then I have some off the canvas items to share with you guys from them. So let me just move this out of the way and let's get started. Okay, this is an off the canvas item and I'm really curious to see what this is like. Sorry for all the crinkling. This is a pen holder. So I'm not sure how you assemble it yet. So let's see, we have this. So here's what it looks like. It has the two butterflies. And then it's got this piece and this piece, which I'm assuming you somehow attach together. And let's see, where do these go? Does that go there? No. Does it go here? It's got these little slits. Um, here, let me push them out. There we go. See this little piece came out of right here, right here. Then I need to push it out from there. Okay. Now I'm assuming I need to do the same thing on this one. Push that out, push that out. Okay. Get those out of the way. Okay, whoops, oh, pieces are getting away from me here. So you get pretty standard cut, a boat, a plate of wax, a pink pen. You do get some baggies and you get this little tool kit. But there's no instructions. Oh, there's three of these pieces. Oh, so I need to push those out of there as well. Um, but, oh, that one was already out. Okay. So these go here. You guys, I feel like an idiot. How, how can I not understand how this works? Okay, let me just get these out. So I've got these little things, little screws, and I'm assuming they go here. And these little things attach to the screws. Yes. Okay. So let me get, do I need a diamond paint before I get these all attached? Let me, I'll take it apart if I have to. Okay. And then, whoops, that one got away from me. I'll put them on this way. I can just twist them with my fingers instead of using the screwdriver, but I probably need to use the screwdriver on the other. Okay. So then the other screws and it would go like this. And then how do I attach? Ew, do these fit in this way? Does this one fit in this way? Are they different sizes? Let me see, they are different sizes. Okay, so these have to be the sides and they go in here, maybe. Okay, yes, they do, if I can get them in there. Doesn't wanna cooperate. Do I put them in that way? Nope. Does this one fit in there? Okay, I don't wanna break it, and that's what I'm afraid I'm gonna do. So if I just, this one just sits like this. Okay, so I don't know if I need to, I just wanna be really careful with this. I don't wanna break it before I even have it assembled. Okay. So essentially this one is going to go here, I'm assuming, and then these two will go here and here. 
and then you would put this one on. So it's just like a little box that would hold with one of these on each side that would hold the pins. So I will put those aside. Let me pick up these screws before I lose them because they are clear. It does look like you get an extra screw, so that's good. Okay, and they send a the little screwdriver. So, you know, bonus if you don't get the little, if you don't have a screwdriver. Okay, so there's those. I'm going to quit fussing with those because it's going to take me forever and I'm tired of messing with it, frankly. So let me set these out of the way. All the little trash pieces. Okay, so you can see, whoa, sorry, my light moved, guys. Uh, you can see... Let me move my camera back here. The butterfly and then the little leaves and then there's some little flowers down here. So let's look at the drills. I just thought that would be something cute to uh, store your diamond painting pens in maybe. Or you know, just regular pens, office pens or whatever. So these come in baggies. So there's number one. We have these yellow drills. Number two is blue rhinestones. There's a darker blue. It's kind of a paler yellow, pale gold. There's that mulberry color I like. Some pink, some green, some Christmas green. And then we've got some uh, iridescent orange teardrop shapes, some larger orange rhinestones some larger blue rhinestones, and some large uh, red circles. So that's all of the uh, drills for the butterfly pen holder. And that was, I'll put links in the description below, but that was listed at $8.99 on their website. So that'll be super cute when I get it all assembled. Okay. The other off the canvas item was something that I have seen several places, but I hadn't tried it yet. So I wanted to get it and show it to you guys. Oh, that's all these pieces. So it is a wine bottle cover. So you get standard kit, boat, plate of wax, pink pen, and some baggies. And here's our drills. And then here's our canvas. It's just this wine bottle cover with the um, partial, you know, put on it. And it does, it feels pretty sticky. And so, and I just thought, again, you know, I like these off the canvas items that are kind of useful rather than just decorative. So this was also listed at $8.99 on their website. So let's take a look at the drills here. Okay, so we've got some red rhinestones, some gold rhinestones, another red, a green, a lighter green, an even lighter green. We've got blue uh, marquee stones. We've got a couple of iridescent star snowflake ones, some gold marquee cut ones, and then some orange red iridescent rounds. So, and I like that these come in baggies. I think that makes it easier. I don't personally like working from baggies, but when you're talking about special drills and especially kits like these where they're not, the projects are not very big when they're off the canvas items like this, I think the baggies is a nice option just because when I do these, for example, I don't normally like kit them up as I would necessarily um, other things. I just kind of work, I'll pour out the baggies. I still don't work from the baggies, but it is useful instead of kitting them up just to have them in a bag that I can work from to pour them into my tray and work from there. Okay, and then the last item is a canvas. Let's get that out of the way so I can unroll this and show you guys this one. I thought this one was really pretty and I think it'll turn out really well. So let me 
this going here. So here's our drills, standard kit, boat, plate of wax, pink pen. And let me show you the canvas. This is another one of those stained glass uh, designs that I like so much. And so I saw this one and I thought, oh, this would be really pretty as like a home decor piece. So it's just um, these kind of stained glass roses. Hopefully you can see the thumbnail here. And it is a 40 by 30. So let's measure this and see. It is a little shy of 25 and about 34 and a half. So a little shy of 25, a little shy of 35, listed as a 30 by 40. Now there aren't very many colors, which I thought was nice. There are only 19 colors. Um, the canvas is nice and sticky, so that's good. It does have the DMC codes listed on the canvas, which is always a plus for me. I love having the DMC codes listed. Uh, it does have guide circles, the training wheels, which I'm not thrilled about. Those are not my favorite thing, but it's still a pretty canvas. So uh, just looking at these, I'm trying to look and see if I think there are ones that would give me trouble, any symbols. Q and T next to each other doesn't seem to be too bad. The D and Q next to each other is not great, but the D is a slightly different color. So A and Bs look okay. Mm, down here there's P's and B's. Not thrilled that those are right next to each other. I mean, they seem clear enough, you know, looking at it, but having those two symbols next to each other is not the preference, I would say. Um, and looking at all the greens, they all look different enough. I don't think I have any trouble with those. So now there is some white and gray obviously in this background which again is not my favorite thing but I like the stained glass style and I thought it would be pretty worked up so let's open the drills and see what the drills look like so again we have 19 colors so let's just look at them and see what we got so we have some gray these actually look pretty good. I don't see um, too many dimples or anything. It's kind of a light gray. That's two bags of 310. A dark gray, a light blue. There's a purple, interesting. Must be in the middle of the flowers. There's a couple of reds. So we've got 606 and then Christmas red. There's another light gray, a brick red, another dark red, a very dark green, a dark green, and just a regular green, a bright yellow for the center of the flowers, a dark brown, kind of a periwinkle blue, a sky blue, and then white. So which of these colors is the background? Q is one, so there's quite a few of those. And then T is number nine, which is this gray. So actually, there's two bags of 310, the rest of them, there's only one bag of each color. So that's not really bad for the background. Um, I think that would be fine for uh, putting all of them together. I mean, it wouldn't be too, as much as I don't like white backgrounds, it wouldn't be too bad. It's not completely white, white. It is kind of a mix. So 
That's nice. So yeah, and this was listed at um, $5.99 on their website. So again, I will put links in the description below to all of these for you guys. This is the uh, roses. It is a full round drill, 30 by 40 by 30. Um, the wine bottle cover, which was listed at $8.99, the cute little flowers on it, and the uh, pencil case um, holder, pencil holder, that was also listed at $8.99. So there you have it, guys. These are the items from Easy Craft Art. Again, a thank you to them for sending these items to me. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I wanted to show you um, the a couple of the items that I completed from Easy Craft Art. So I completed the pencil holder. So you can see it here. I actually think it turned out really well. I'm really happy with it. Um, it's got all these special drills on it and then just the colors and of course you do both sides and those plastic pieces go in between and you have a nice little area that you can stick you know regular pins or diamond painting pins or whatever you want to do now um, it probably needs to be sealed although you know most of the wear and tear is going to take place on the inside so if you didn't want to seal it you probably don't have to um, it did have those little pieces that get screwed in and everything. I didn't take the time to, to put those in. Um, it just makes it a little more sturdy because these are just kind of held in there by tension. So definitely if it was gonna get kind of knocked around a bit, you probably would want to put those in there. But I think it turned out really well. I was really happy with it. And then the other thing that I finished was the wine bottle holder. So, and of course it's got these special drills, but it's just this cute little flower uh, bouquet here, nothing on the other side. And then you just stick your bottle of wine in there and, you know, cinch it in at the top and you're good to go. So I thought they were cute. So there you have two of the finishes of those items, the uh, wine bottle cover and the pen holder. So there you go. Um, as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Before you leave, if you like this video, don't forget to do all the things. Give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. See you next time, guys.